Hi, welcome to a Siemens NX12 video tutorial. I want to show you how to do the drawing of this connecting rod, the last exercise. Let's switch to the drawing environment and that's the end result and of course you can use that drawing for modeling the last exercise. I will leave that view a little bit longer on the video so you could make a screenshot and just use those dimensions and model the connecting rod. Now let's have fun as far as that is possible with the drawing environment with an X12. Okay, there are two ways to get to a drawing. You could go for File, New Drawing, or you could switch to the drafting environment. I will switch to the drafting environment. I will go for A3 size. Maybe I have to change the projection afterwards. Confirm. Close and I will close that base view command as well because I have first to change that projection. Go to sheet, edit sheet and switch it to the first angle projection and confirm. Now I want to go for a base view. Let's go for a scale of one to two. That will still not fit, but I want to shorten that view anyway. So let's go here, put it there and close. Now let's shorten that view by break view or view break. First point and by clicking inside the view I selected the view. So that will be the direction in which it will be shortened. That's okay. You could change that. You could go for a completely different direction. Not only horizontal or vertical, but every direction is possible. So let's go for the first anchor point here. Select the second anchor point there. And apply. And cancel this out. So let's move it into the middle. Now I could do a projected view of this one and this one will be shortened as well. And close. Okay, now let's add some center lines. There is already one sort of, but that doesn't help. So I go for center line from this circle to that one, apply from that circle to this one, apply, then I might need one here, apply one over there, apply and for that small one here, one, Let's make it a little bit shorter, but I want to do them all at once. So deactivate set extension individually or activate it. Depends on what your default is. And another one here. And OK. So those should do. Okay, let's add some dimensions. Maybe move this down a little bit. Okay, I will need one from this circle to that circle. This one. I will need, of course, all the circles dimensioned. So this will be 17 diameter that one as well okay this one will be 45 yeah it depends on uh, yeah so go here select it like this and you will get it 
horizontal. Then I will need some radius. Oh, there's another one. So go for the center. So we'll get that diameter like this and draw it over here. Same one there. Nope. Just zoom in, select it here, and you got yeah, the same one again. Sorry. I want it to be here. Draw it over there. Then another one here. That's 30 in diameter. Same on the other side. Just go from the inside to that circle. No, that's the wrong one. I'm still a little bit tired, obviously. Go here to the inside and draw this over there. Nice. Then there will be here another one. Hopefully we can. Yeah, we can. That's the 55. There will be another one here, hopefully. That's 165. Great. This one will be... Yeah, 99 is wrong. It should be 10. So let's see if we can go for the 10. Let's go for chamfer oh, that's very hard to see radial and try once more go here yeah still 99 so I will have to overwrite that value close it go there and edit it by How to edit this one? I don't remember. Oh yeah, there it is, the text. And there's the dimension text. And format unit. Let's go for zero decimal places. That would change that to 10. That's more like it. And close. Same here. OK. Oh, there another one. Let's go here. And this should be here 40. This one 40 as well. That one go from the inside. 65. Go there and see if it, yeah, that's 10, that's okay. Now we need a distance here and that distance. So let's check this out. I want to measure from here to that line. Draw it over there. Then of course, from the center, so go here to that line. That will be 55 over here. Should be the same here. Let's check it out. So that will be the same, of course. So let's go from the inside to that line. Another 55. Let's just put it right there. And What's missing up there? Of course, that distance and that radius here is missing. So go here. That's 110 diameter. And I need a distance from here to that one or from the center of that circle to this one. 
which might be better. So let's add another center line. So go for a center line and I want this center line here, this one. And of course it should be not as big. So just reduce it like that. Okay, now we could dimension that distance. So from this to that one, or you could of course dimension that circle to this circle. But I want to go from dimension from center line to center line. And that would be 60 right here. Okay, let's edit that dimension and make it radius to center and close. And then I need that dimension. That should be a diameter. So go for rapid dimension change the method from inferred to cylindrical. Select this line and drive up there and close. And I should have now all the dimensions. I could add, of course, switches that to inferred from this line to that line, like that, and close. Now that view should be dimensioned completely. Let's add here some dimensions. I go for rapid and I need it from this one to that one. We'll just draw that. Yeah, that's a face, so that's no good. So I'll go from line to line. That's 60. And from this line to that line, that's of course 30. Same on the other side. That's 60. And that's another 30. Now I will need a distance from here to this one. So go from center to center. 56 and from center to this center. That should be 9, yeah. Just put it right there. Same on the other side. From center to center. You could, of course, use those center lines as well. Let's move this a little bit over there. And then go from this center to that center. And that's another 9. Let's close this one. Let's take a look. Do I have all the dimensions? I could add, add that dimension here just for reference. So from this center here to that center here, that should be again 750. Let's check if I got all dimensions. Maybe move this a little bit to the outside, that a little bit to the outside. And then maybe like this. So I should be good. Oh, yeah, well, one's missing. I need the depth here. So Maybe I should add a detail or a section view. Uh, let's take a look. So I might go for a breakout view. Where would it be okay to do a breakout? Yeah, I could do it on a second sheet. 
but I want to do it on this one. Or I could go for hidden lines. So if I go to my imported right view and edit it, view origin more view, that's okay. Um, wrong one, that's an X. You have to go to the settings, go to hidden lines and make the hidden lines visible. Maybe with a dotted one and apply. And OK and OK and OK. So now I can dimension that distance. And I want to do that. So from this hidden line to that hidden line, it's 95 millimeters. And of course, the same on, on the other side. So it's from this line to that line. And it should be 95 as well. Yeah, maybe the dotted lines are not as exciting as I thought. So go to settings and change it from dotted to dashed. And OK. And OK. And OK. Yeah, that's better. And now I think I'm done with this one. I should have all the dimensions. And of course I've missed one and somehow I've deleted those center lines. So I will add those center lines once more. Don't know when I did it, but doesn't matter. Now let's dimension those center lines and that's 60. Close. And now I should have all the dimension you need. So, thumb if you liked it, sub if you loved it. That's the phrase which one of my favorite YouTuber uses. So, if you did like it, give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. would be very nice of you. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.